fourth place up ahead of him. That's Keith Amore third, Michael Dunlop is second. Away go the second wave. So Farquhar, Dunlop, Amore, Archibald. Fifth place, Michael Pearson, his road racing debut. Good showing from him. Behind him, it is number six, William Dunlop. Derek Bryan is in seventh place. He's back racing again after missing out last year. Michael Dunlop trying to keep with Ryan Farquhar. And Ryan Farquhar, you can see there how good he is around these corners. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's early days yet, and um, Michael Dunlop on the street sweep, R6 Yamaha, I'm sure he's going to give it all he's got. Giving it all he's got, though, is Keith Amore, who's right behind Dunlop. He's closer to Dunlop than Dunlop is to this man, Ryan Farquhar. So, around Castle Corner, it's Farquhar, it's Dunlop, it's Amore. Archibald is also in there as well, and he needs to stay with these three as much as he can. We're on board with Michael Dunlop, and this is, again, that roller coaster ride, Jason. Yeah, but uh, for sure a lot easier on the, on the Super Sport 600 bikes than, than the open-class machines. Whoa, bit of a wobble there, and it really is, even though it's a 600, it's still tricky through here. Down through the area that's called the bomb hole, of course, a big fan's favourite. Farquhar, Dunlop and Moore, still running at the same pace, Archibald in fourth place. And great to see Adrian Jason running at the front. Yeah, Adrian Archibald, obviously very experienced rider and uh, PT winner, of course, and he's getting faster as the North West and the TT get closer. He just needs to plug that gap, though, to the three guys in front of him. He doesn't want to lose that toe. This is still super quick from Asian Archibald. Into Bell's crossroad, Farquhar, Dunlop, Amore. Early days, of course, but at the moment, these three just seem to have the edge on Asian Archibald as they go across the line. It's four tenths of a second, lead for Ryan Farquhar over the man we ride with, Michael Dunlop. Keith Amore is a further one and a half seconds ahead of Adrian Archibald. 76, Andrew Neal just alongside him, almost sitting up around the corner at number two, Emlyn Hughes. Oh, look at Keith Amore, he's trying, he's trying at the inside of Dunlop, is he going to get him? Well, Jason, on that occasion, Amore just didn't have the power, did he, to uh, get alongside Michael Dunlop? And here is the battle for fourth place, and it's now in the hands of William Dunlop, who's ahead of Adrian Archibald. And we can see that move, Jason. Yeah, and uh, obviously riding with Adrian Archibald, and there's a slip streaming pass coming up from William Dunlop on the outside. So, William Dunlop then up into fourth place, a much better showing this time around on the 600 than we saw at Cookstown. Into Bells then once more, it's far quiet, it's still Dunlop, it's still Keith Moore and Jason pick a winner. Any one of three for me, Dave, at the moment, it's just too difficult to call, I think, this one, but uh, Keith Moore certainly looking now for a way around Michael Dunlop. Well, three tenths of a second covered those three as they crossed the line that time around. And here comes William Dunlop, Adrian Archibald is not letting go of him either. He may have been passed, but William Dunlop still in front of Adrian Archibald. Now we're back with Michael Dunlop once again. He's looking for a little piece of road that may just open up and just may allow him the opportunity to get past Ryan Farquhar. And it's also the same thought that's going through Keith Moore's head at present. Although his target, of course, is Michael Dunlop. So into Monaco they go once more. Ryan Farquhar, of course, new engine in his 600. And behind Michael Dunlop is Keith Moore, who's got his new machinery for this weekend. Michael Dunlop. Sticking with the man in front of him. And still nothing between these two for fourth place, William Dunlop and Adrian Archibald. Here they come, and again, slipstreaming the key. Yeah, I mean, it uh, doesn't look as though there's anything much between these three machines at the moment. So Keith Moore trying around the outside. It's a brave man that tries there. Maybe the camera angle just got that a little bit wrong. Here we are at Castle Corner, though. Hard on the brakes. It's just no separating these three, and I just wonder if we're going to get another last lap dash again. Certainly the same seems to be said for William Dunlop and Adrian Archibald. But we saw Ryan Farquhar pull up that fantastic move down through here earlier on in the 1,000cc race. And I'd be surprised to see Keith Moore pop into the picture right now. Still nothing between these three. Archibald, hot in pursuit of William Dunlop. 
And I know we saw it before with Farquhar. Oh, Archibald is starting. Is he going to try and get through? Oh, William Dunlop, is he? Oh, nearly. How close was that? Yeah, Adrian got a really good drive there and uh, looked like he was going to find a way through, but quite a narrow back road, obviously, and uh, not enough space. Well, 10 out of 10 for trying, Mr. Archibald. Here comes Michael Pearson, and 68 is Derek Bryan. Junior Max Grand Prix winner back in 2007, took a year out last year, but uh, back on the pace here at Tandragee. Different lines once again into Bell's Crossroads. Yeah, Ryan's obviously yeah, trying to defend the lead and uh, keeping close on the inside, but uh, here we go with the last lap. Yeah, last lap, this is it, folks. And also, as well, chuck in a few of Keith Moore's friends, the backmarkers. Yeah, I don't think you'd enjoy being a backmarker with these three uh, coming across you now. Oh, up the inside, William Dunlop, but around the outside goes Adrian Archibald to go back into fourth place. Well, these two will have something to talk about at the end of this one. It's Archibald that's in fourth place into the chicane. But a great move from Archibald. Yeah, Adrian's uh, obviously decided with a lap to go, he needs to try and get clear of William Dunlop and make that fourth place his. Riding with Michael Dunlop, still in second place. Keith Moore tucked in right behind him. Ryan Farquhar, this is really, really quick, even though on 600s. And look at Dunlop closing in on Farquhar, carrying lots of speed through here. But before we've seen Farquhar get away, and is it slipstreaming down here, Jason? Yeah, I mean, Michael Dunlop seemed to get a good drive out of the corner there. Oh, and he's got an even better drive now, possibly, because he's alongside Farquhar, and he's through, is he? Yes, indeed, Michael Dunlop takes over the lead, takes Ryan Farquhar on the last lap. Keith Moore back in third, but a great move from Michael Dunlop. Yeah, and he's just got to try and cover the inside now so that he gets uh, leads onto the back, back road. And that should be the job done, but there's back markers, so uh, this could get a bit interesting. Well, William Dunlop is back in front of Adrian Archibald once again. They were side by side there, but Dunlop takes back fourth place. Here we go again, Jason. Yeah, we just see that uh, Michael gets out of the turn and seems to get a good drive. Obviously, a bit of slipstream in effect and uh, finds his way past Ryan on the inside. Here they come then. Michael Dunlop, remember, has never won a four stroke race before. And he's not that far from doing it today. Oh, Keith Moore's through to second place on Ryan Farquhar. But we're back with Michael Dunlop. And a great performance from him. He's won one two fives and two fifties, etc. But he's never got a big four-stroke win. No, that's right. And uh, obviously qualified quickest here, so it'd be great for him to take the win. Oh, William Dunlop is behind Adrian Archibald once again there in amongst traffic. But we're back with Michael Dunlop, race leader. As long as he's timed this right at the crossroads, or maybe a little bit of nerves, but here he comes. On to the back wheel, he's going to take the chequered flag. A fantastic victory for Michael Dunlop. Oh, what a win that was. What a move, what a victory, and I wonder what that means. Do you remember your first four-stroke win? Yeah, I mean, obviously he's ecstatic, and he's been waiting for that one a long time, but a great ride from Michael. Yeah, fantastic ride from Michael Dunlop, and you can tell how much that means to him. What a performance from this man. Results time, and Adrian Archibald does indeed squeeze out William Dunlop in fourth place. Ryan Farquhar back in third. Keith Moore second again, but it's Michael Dunlop on top. Congratulations. Uh, I take it by the celebrations. You thoroughly enjoyed that. Ah, uh, boys, that's the race now. Stoke it to them, got it to them. You know, I know them there. I wanted the race one. Gary put so much money into me, you know, this year. Yeah, what does that win mean to you today? Ah, uh, 100%. Only one man missing it today. And uh, hopefully now he's looking down again. Say he was proud in some way, you know, but he would have put a lot of money into me as well, you know, and that's him done that, you know, as well. It's the knowledge. But there we go. Brilliant, congratulations. Thanks, Keith. Cheers. Well, now to the feature race of the day, the Tandra Gee 100. Michael Dunlop with a hat trick so far, Ryan Farquhar with two wins, but can a Scotsman get his first win of the day? Keith Amore. Keith, what are the chances this time? Can he get on the top step of the podium? <laughs> yeah, we're going to try, eh? Yeah, you never know. It's, uh, it's going to be a slightly longer race, obviously, because it's eight laps, so uh, a little bit more calculation.